My name is James Wilkes. This is Kung Fu Havoc 2. If you can hear the thunder in the background, then you ought to know that this is not going to be a long video because I would like not to lose my machine due to human error of trying to vlog during a lightning storm, which is pretty fucking stupid unless you have money. If you have money, anything you do to the stupid ain't stupid because you can buy things back and pay for things. Anyway, I don't have any of that, so here we go. I wanted to address four things. First four things was bad decisions that women make. Uh, women that are completely heartless and don't tell the truth. And then the other two things were uh, love and um, it's either toilet paper jokes or something. I don't remember what the hell it was because I just deleted the video that I was going to start with in the first place. So I don't have a lot of time. We're going to um, talk about um, some heartbreaking choices that people make and how it affects people. Right? Now, like I said, I can't be on this long. And I was talking to a lady at work today. Yes, I always talk to people at work about some issues that, you know, um, need to be discussed. So, if you've been paying attention, currently I've been trying to work on getting a girlfriend from the Philippines. It's hard work. It's not fun. I miss her. I like to talk to her. We talk all the time. And we're working on finding a way to get her here. Alright. Her name is Nicole. You get nothing more than that. Alright. So... Me and Lady Rep was talking about how I ordered some music and my mother uh, insisted on getting Adele. I don't have anything against Adele or women in general. I do have a thing about the harmful choices that women make, alright? Because of their love for adventure and easy money. So, what we were discussing has to do with women making really bad choices and heartbreak. And one of my greatest fears is that. I get with Nicole and my ex grows up and decides, now I'm not going to let you have that because I should have grown up sooner and things like that. Well, however unfortunate, you know, text message. <laughs> however unfortunate, you know, this goes out to all you women who really have no concept of doing like making a right choice and not just the right choice at the time. For all of you who don't look at the big picture, and I'm not trying to be an asshole, and yeah. maybe I am being an asshole, but I'm saying stuff that's true to like, I have a few sisters, they fall into this category and they know who they are. I'm not putting their names or their business out there, but they know who they are. A lot of you women make uh, really really stupid decisions when it comes to your men and your procreation choice, alright? So guys like me, we don't have the fighting chance of procreating with all these beautiful hot women or these women who really want these badasses until these badasses start knocking out their fucking teeth. Then they're too scared to leave them because, oh, you, if I can't have you, nobody else can have you and I'm gonna kill you. And you pretty much... Damn it. Spit on my computer a little bit there. <laughs> you pretty much dug your own grave with a silver spoon. Thank you, Stevie Nicks, for that song. The Gold Dust Woman. Yeah, and it's the truth. You have pretty... Damn, my hair is on the computer? I'm sorry. You pretty much have dug your own grave with a silver spoon. Because when you're with a guy who loves you more than life itself, and as people have many have told me, lots of times I've had to learn this the hard way, that sometimes love is just not enough. And it's not enough if you love someone who doesn't love themselves enough to be loved by you which was my situation, as best I can decipher it, because I don't know the truth, and I won't ever know the truth, and it will drive me crazy until the end of time, all right? However, while I'm working on with this girl, Nicole, I'm with Nicole. Nothing else matters. No, I don't know if she's with me, but I'm with her, and the sooner we get her over here to the America, the better off things will be for us. Anyway, at least in the physical term, online dating's... Uh, hard way to go, but I'm a lonely old man, so I can do what I want. And you know, the thing is, as me and the lady at work was talking, and she, she, she agreed with me, you know, she completely agreed with me. And uh, it, it's not that she agreed with me because of uh, my point of view, it's that she kind of agreed with my logic, you know, which is true. Nine times out of ten, that one you threw away was the only one that could have put up with all your drama, all your bullshit, and would have been there through thick and thin and held your hand and jumped through loops of fire and lava and acid free. But you girls don't want us. 
You want the guys that talk to you like shit, that calls you bitches and whores and sluts, slap you around a little bit, and then you're stuck because you have their babies, and then you're stuck with this bastard who has nothing going on for him but an arrest record or death, and what you guys fail to understand as women, one of my sisters had to learn this the hard way, and again, no names will be mentioned, you know, the enemy of your lover is your enemy, and it can cost you your life, but instead of seeing the big picture, you see the right here and the right now. Oh, he does drugs. He's got fast money. Oh, he's hustling here and there. He's got fast money. A fool and his money often part. And sometimes, sometimes, their lives take dramatic change. Which means your life can take a dramatic change. And you could be shot or killed because of the bastard that you're with. And because you wanted the fast money and the fast lifestyle, you got to understand. If he's living a dangerous life and you're dating him, you're just part of the mix. Sooner or later, he's going to get you killed. Or by the time you realize it, it's going to be too late. You'll have his baby. Or you'll have nine or ten of his babies. You'll have nowhere to go. And you'll be used up and no one will want you. Not even the guy that loved you more than life itself because you fucked him over. You know, and it's so much easier for women to fuck over men. It's easier, you know. Women was the greatest gift and the greatest curse that God has ever given me, all right? And then, you know, people will shun me for this, and I don't give a fuck because I'm speaking the goddamn truth. And you think about it, all of you think about it. How many women, way back in the day, when you were dating them or whatever, and either y'all fell apart or she just wasn't woman enough to tell you that she never loved you in the first place and you were just taking up time until she found someone better. I say that. You know what I'm saying? Don't lead someone on two or three years. Let them buy a ring. Let them learn everything you want them to learn about you. And then they get ready to get on one knee. And the next damn thing you know, it's relationships are overrated. And you can't come see me anymore. Now, granted, that wasn't original because no other girlfriend I ever had had told me that. But in the same concept, okay, tell me what happened. You know, don't take me to court. You know, just tell me what the fuck happened. Woman up. Tell me the goddamn truth. I can much rather take that and sit there and wonder for 90 fucking years what the hell happened. And don't wait until I finally find happiness with someone else to show the fuck back up. And that's probably what my greatest fear is. It's kind of what the, the whole thing I'm worried about with Nicole is that I finally get happy with this one girl. And then the ex shows back up to fucking ruin everything. Because then she'll finally want me. And she'll finally grow up and be like, you know, I really fucked up. It's like, yeah, you did. But it's too late. You don't have the right... To come back and fuck up my life now. I've never interfered with your life while you were dating other people. So you don't have the right to come back into mine and fuck it up. And that's one of my greatest fears. So the lady at work, we were talking about Adele songs. You know, um, Hello from the Other Side and um, Someone Like You. It's like, well, you know, this is what started the whole thing. If women didn't make those decisions... To walk away from something good in the first place because, oh, well, we want something more. Maybe not something better, but something more. The person you're with is giving you their best. They're giving you everything they have. They're giving you their love, their heart, and their soul. The least you can do is return the favor. If you don't want to be with that person, first and foremost, make that known from the fucking jump. Don't let a person stay with you two, three, five, nine, twenty fucking years and you've never fucking loved them. Because you have ruined them for the next good person to come along. Or you have just ruined them in general because you were what they wanted. You made them happy. And all of a sudden, boom. You never loved them. You never wanted them. But yet you led them on for two years or 20 years. And that's just not fair. And then you got to look at it from the flip side of that script. You know, sometimes, okay, most of the time, the truth hurts. But if you get it out of the way... It's over and it's done in that instant. If you know this person, then you ought to know that they're not going to put their hands on you. And if you don't know this person, well, then I guess you should probably run or set their ass on fire when they go to sleep. Problem solved. But, you know, the thing is, love is a two-way street. And relationships only work when both people want to be there. You know? And being in one-sided relationships more than most of my life now that i figured it out, you know, kind of it's kind of dreadfully upsetting, you know, because, you know... When you love somebody, and you really love somebody, you want to be with that person. No obstacle should keep you from being with that person unless that person doesn't love you. 
And on the flip side of that, that person should really just straight fucking tell you, look, I don't love you. I've never loved you. I'm sorry I took all your time of your life and you could have been finding someone did you deserve. No. But women, y'all don't do that. Y'all don't care. A lot of you women are monsters. But if a man does a woman that way, we're dogs and we're pieces of shit. So like I said, if everyone was just honest from the jump, all right, I want a fucking relationship. The girl's not down, you move on. You don't keep stalking her. She might let you hit that ass, she might not. It works the same way with a dude, you know. If he don't love you, he might let you get a dick down and then go the fuck out. And and that's the way it should be. Y'all should be honest from the fucking jump. I'm a relationship kind of person, all right? I'm not a cheater, and I'm not a liar. I give everybody 99.5, unless I know you can handle the whole 1,000. I give you what I know you can handle. I don't omit anything. I just will leave something out that I didn't think you can handle. When I find out you can handle it, I'll give it to you. All you have to do is ask. But when it comes down to matters of the heart, there are some things you just don't fucking do. People wonder why dudes run off and holler, if I can't have you, nobody can, and then they kill the chick. That's why you, you weren't telling the dude the truth. But people fail to understand. As a man, I can say this because I'm a man. No, I'm a man enough to say it. A man's heart is a little bit weaker than a woman's heart. All right? When it comes to love, there's a big difference between love and fucking. All right? A man's job in his brain, because of whoever the hell raises him, is to go out and fuck everything. A woman's job isn't that. A woman's job is to find love, procreate, and be happy. But there are some women whose job is just like a man to go out and fuck everything. And fuck them up here and fuck them up here. And why is that? Because there's nothing that a person who is in love won't do. Or, to be blunt, there's nothing that a man won't do for a piece of ass. Or pussy or whatever the hell you want to call it. And that's the fucking truth. That's been scientifically proven throughout centuries. You know, women have a little bit more rights now, a little bit more control. But they've always had control of the pussy. Unless they were victims of rape. So, you know, if you're going to not want to be in a relationship with someone, the least you can do is be honest and tell them from the jump, look, we just fucking don't get no emotions, fuck me, and then get the fuck out of my house. You know, as a dude, we should be able to say the same damn thing. It will save everyone problems. There wouldn't be anybody going over and, and shooting people up because they can't have sex with them. There wouldn't be any murder suicides. And I brought this up because I've had those on both sides of my family, and their names will not be admitted, but everybody in the family knows who they are. You know, girlfriend brings home crazy boyfriend, crazy boyfriend kills her, kills himself. I've had it on both sides of my family. It's not cool. And like I said, you have the power to make a choice. Before you procreate with someone, get to know them. I ain't saying you ain't gotta fuck them. I ain't saying you gotta fuck them. But I'm saying, before you lay down and bring a life into this world, you might want to know who the hell you're dealing with because babies change everything. If you are a young lady and you're getting pregnant to keep a man, that is the worst fucking thing you can do to yourself and that baby. And I'm very sorry that if you have a mother who has not explained that to you, that don't fuck your life up by having kids with some jackass who doesn't want nothing to do with you, but fuck you. If I have a daughter, I'm going to be blunt with her. I'm going to be straight up honest. Look, baby, I can't stop you from fucking. But there is this little thing that they make. Right there. I'm sure you guys didn't see this coming. These damn things right here are for making good decisions. All right? That guy doesn't want to have a baby with you. Don't give him one. Because the only person that that defeats is you. Now, if this would have went out to some people that I know, a lot of problems in the world wouldn't exist right now. But those problems are here. You have to deal with it. Just like I have to deal with it. And everybody has to deal with it. Now, like I said, I outmit names for a reason. I don't put names in anything that I say just due to the fact that when I drop the whole thousand percent of the truth, somebody's feelings is going to get hurt. Wow. I don't think that one can fit me. It says enormous. Oh, I said that out loud. <laughs> well, anyway, you know, it's, it's the principle of the thing. And then it's the same thing that I tell you young ladies. Look, if you don't want to be with somebody, but you want to fuck them, just say that. And then just tell them when they jump. Look, we fucking. When I find somebody else I want to be with or fuck, I'm moving on. You need to be prepared for that. 
And as a dude, you need to accept that decision and move the fuck on as quickly, as fast as possible. And, and my best advice to you is to hit that ass once and break the fuck out no matter how good that pussy is. Break the fuck out because if she's only wanting you to be fucking... One of y'all catch feelings, it's gonna be a fucking problem. So, to prevent catching feelings, fuck her once or twice. Don't fuck her more than five times and get the fuck out. And I know that this is like really some evil shit to be saying to people. But, you know, um, the truth of the matter is, that's what you need to do. Simple as that. It's the truth of the matter. And the more we tell the truth, yeah, a lot of feelings will be hurt, but a lot of lives will be spared. My name is James Williams Jr. This is Kung Fu Havoc number two. I'm out.